Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about minimalism and specifically where I spend my money personally as a minimalist. So as I've said before, minimalism is completely different for everyone involved. So um, I do think that often minimalism means that you are spending less money, but it also doesn't have to mean that. It can just mean that the money that you're spending on certain items um, is actually spent elsewhere. So sometimes you're completely broken even, sometimes you can even become a minimalist and start spending more money. It completely depends um, where you're coming from and what your priorities are and uh, what aspects of uh, minimalism you're incorporating into your life. So before I get into um, where I spend my money as a minimalist, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've stopped buying as a minimalist. So the first thing are probably the things that I find that most people actually spend their money on most frequently. So I've stopped buying fast fashion, in fact I've stopped kind of buying fashion altogether. I don't, I don't remember the last time I bought clothes. Um, I just don't really go clothes shopping at all um, and if I do want something then I'll pop into a thrift shop, um, a charity shop, um, something like that. I don't shop in places like Zara and H&M and Topshop um, at all anymore. I don't, I'm not even tempted um, for lots of reasons um, that I can go into in a separate video if you're interested in why I stopped um, fast fashion shopping um, I'd be happy to kind of go into that topic a little bit more but for the sake of this video um, I have stopped shopping in fast fashion places um, I've also stopped buying uh, bathroom products so that is everything from like cleaning products I make my own and also skincare and um, like face wash toothpaste everything like that I make my own um, I will also definitely be doing an updated video on that soon I did post a video which I'll link up here and in the description box showing you a little tour around my bathroom products which has since updated and changed a little bit so I can do <laughs> a separate video on that and also that means makeup as well so I don't buy makeup I have I've been given a lot of makeup in the past which is just is way too much for me to even use in a lifetime so I'm sure I'll be using that and donating a lot of that um, I, I don't expect that I'll need to buy any makeup ever quite honestly <laughs> again and funnily enough these are the things that I find that most people spend their money most frequently on so even though it doesn't seem that you're spending most of your money on clothing and makeup and skincare um, I think accumulatively through the year I think a big percentage of people's wages actually go towards those things and so it is um, a huge expense for a lot of people although not immediately as it builds up it can be very very expensive especially if you're shopping quite often and so in that case I have saved money from not doing those things anymore so that brings me on to where I do spend my money now and that means um, that I have a little bit more money to spend on higher quality items for example so if I do buy a piece of clothing I like to make sure that it is ethical so um, no animal products no animals are harmed using it so no wool no silk um, obviously no leather and things like that so for example I like to wear a lot of cotton and linen I like to buy it organic and fair trade and that means that sometimes the price is boosted a little bit so because I don't buy clothing regularly and I don't buy fast fashion pieces regularly I, um, I have a little bit more money to spend on higher quality items that are going to last me a lifetime which is a little bit confusing to people when I suggest that actually these items are cheaper because although you're paying a little bit more they will last you forever and so you won't need to replace them so in the long run it's actually a lot cheaper. These items just align with me and my life and my lifestyle and where I am at the moment and so I feel um, a lot better and a lot lighter by knowing that the things that I am putting my money towards which is um, after all where I'm voting for, I'm voting for ethical sustainable items, um, I just feel a lot more calm and happy with my decision to do that. So I also like to spend my money on experiences. This is the most exciting thing for me. Rather than buying things every weekend that are um, a few quid here and there and then it actually taking a large percentage of my income away, um, I like to not do that. So not buy the fashion and the makeup and the products and all that thing and have that money left over to actually spend on something really significant and meaningful to me. So for example, um, an experience might be um, a yoga class or driving lessons. If you guys watch my vlogs, you'll know that I've been taking driving lessons. So I have money to do that over buying the smaller things frequently. 
I am definitely wanting to travel a lot more in the future and so saving this money also means that I can start thinking about where I'd like to go and that's way more exciting to me to have um, this little bit of savings in order to buy a plane ticket to somewhere or to drive somewhere and be able to um, book an Airbnb or something or to stay in someone's house to actually explore the world or to buy a ticket to a concert or a comedy show or things like that make me a lot more satisfied and happy um, than spending that money on frivolous things that I'm probably just going to chuck out anyway. And the third way I like to spend money as a minimalist is giving it. So that may mean you have some more to give to somebody who's homeless or a shelter or a charity um, but it also can mean um, giving it as gifts, so to buy um, better, more thoughtful gifts for people for their birthday or just when you want to give them a gift. To treat a friend or a loved one to a cup of tea, a coffee out, um, a dinner, um, an experience, just to, to share the money and to have happiness in the community of giving and experiencing that with somebody else. And also buying local, handmade, um, small business items. So I like to buy things from markets, from small companies, from Etsy, places like that. Um, I would prefer to give my money to somebody who's trying to start their own business rather than to a mass corporation that frankly doesn't need any more money. So those are the main three areas where I like to spend my money as a minimalist. Um, that's where my priorities lie and that's where I spend the money that I've saved from not buying multiple things and not buying things frequently, I have enough money to be able to spend on better items, um, experiences, and then share it amongst my loved ones. So I'd love to know if you are on a minimalist journey as well and where you prefer to spend your money. Um, let me know in the comments below and share your thoughts and ideas. And if you have any questions on this topic, be sure to ask me in the comments below. I read every comment and try to get back to as many as possible. And I will see you all in the next video. All right, bye.